What's going on guys? I'm Simple Simon. I'm Captain Sorrow. Welcome to this week's Comic Haul. We have a lot to get through today. It's the first time I've cracked over $200 on a haul for a while. Um, back to the good old days. I uh, couldn't even afford them all today. Uh, but we've got all kinds of gift, uh, things to show you. We've got gifts, we've got comics, we've got mail call. It's out of control. So, let's do this. Mark got us some gifts. What a lovely guy. We haven't seen Mark in two weeks. He went on a lovely cruise with his other half. That's right. So uh, he had some gifts for us today. I'll show mine first because yours is better. <laughs> no, it's not true. They're both very good. Uh, he gifted me a Berserker comic box. Oh, very cool. Um, this is actually a sick, sick box. And if you guys know me and how I buy so many copies of Berserker, this will just fit my uh, 12 issues of Berserker because I got 500 copies of each one. It's very, very cool. Uh, yeah, I was pumped actually. As soon as I saw this, I said, Mark, are you getting these in? Because uh, obviously it's perfect for all the copies of Berserker that I have. Lee could probably use one of these as well, Lee from my comics. So uh, he actually gifted it to me. Uh, it's like a Christmas present, I guess. So but what do you get you, Sarah? Yours is well, amazing. This I ordered and I didn't expect to actually come in. And yeah, I saw it in my holds there and I was like, holy shit. And he was like, it's from me to you. Uh, it is a Something's Killing the Children t-shirt. Which is... How good is that? Bloody dope. <laughs> uh, I should probably place my order right now before uh, everyone sees this and goes, What? And then they order it and then I miss out. What's your favourite cover post? It is too. If you can't get the book, why not get the t-shirt? <laughs> I'm going to get one of those two now uh, in a much bigger size and then we can wear matching t-shirts like Sarah always wanted. So that will give some Mark. Thank you, Mark. Thank you so much. Very lovely of him. We'll do your haul, my haul, and then maybe we'll do the mail call. Sure. First, this has been in my holds for a while. I don't know why I ordered this, I really didn't want it, but because I ordered it, I figure I should eventually buy it. It's nice, it's just that I, I didn't fucking need it, so I didn't... I thought didn't... you were the something that's killing the children. I girl. am, but I really liked, um, what was the artist? Mac? David, David Mac? Mac. You know what? I really liked the David Mac ones. I got over David Mac's slaughter packs after the first pack. Because well, they're I enjoyed all the them. same. Uh, I don't know, it's the fourth slaughter pack. Um, I don't even know the name of the artist. I'm not gonna even bother opening it and going through it, because like, I really... I, Okay. Well, I already opened mine. Uh, then I've got my white bandana, which has also been sitting there for a bit. So oh, and I more some of the It just keeps going. <laughs> Look at this. So we've got Santa Cover A, and then as usual, because Mark is a gem, we've got the one per store variant there as well. We've also got. I did not know this was foil. Yeah. So I when I ordered it, I saw it was like Cover B foil. But what they've actually done is they've made only the machetes. The knives foil, Legit. which is pretty cool. That's different. I haven't seen that before. So that is pretty cool. That is very cool. And then my pickups from DC for this week: Punchline issue three, the Rose Fesh cover. I've got, an, I've got the other ones um, that she had, and of course, Poison Ivy issue eight, Prison. It's just my favorite by that's, far. This is a, a good one. Bloody gorgeous cover. Just the everything about this cover is lovely. Baby, look at this. Uh, she has vines around her hand, so technically this is a bondage cover. She's making fun of me now. <laughs> anyway, that's all she picked up this week. So here comes my expensive asshole. We're starting off with some Sudam. Sudam? That's Jin Jin. Anyway, uh, so we got Sudam. So there's a classic Sudam. So Sudam is basically um, homaging his own cover. He did a Savage Towers a while back, which was Red Sonia, and I missed out. I was watching one for $25. I think it's quite old now. She's attacking me. And now I can't find it for that price again. So he's recently homaged it with Vampirella, and this is one with Deja Thoris. Um, I need that original Red Sonia one now to complete the Dynamite Trio. So hopefully I'll be able to find that again one day, maybe. What's that an homage to you, baby? Oh, I didn't even look at it that close. So all this I saw is, is that he picked out a cover with boobs all over it. This is Ninja Funk issue two. This is obviously an homage to a book that I'm very familiar with, a 9.4. <laughs> Have you read Ninja Funk? I read the first issue, yes I did. Actually, I forgot to talk about it when we did is streams. Is one that you enjoyed? Um, I wouldn't say, I, uh, it was okay. It's like about a band, but what was cool about it was in a lot of the, um, in, uh, there was probably three panels where 
In the speech bubble, there was a QR code. And because it's about this band, it's like, I guess got this whole atmospheric thing about it. You scan the QR code and it actually has a soundtrack to it. So it, it was kind of a cool concept. And then I also got this awesome David Nakayama variant as well. I don't know who did that first one. That's probably one of the only Nakayama covers that I've liked. Because you can't see her face. Everyone has different art tastes. I just, I'm not a huge fan of his faces, but that's um, nice. So obviously that's from Whatnot Publishing as well. I feel like what Whatnot are trying to do are really cash in on the homage covers. Because yeah. you know people love homage covers and they've done so many homage covers with the titles that Whatnot are releasing. This is Gun Honey. This is a Sozo Mako cover. This is the cover A, I think. And then there's like an FOC cover, which I actually ordered too, which is different. It's, yeah, it's actually not the same artwork. It's cool. So anyway, I ordered that too. Sarah is now a Gun Honey fan. I read it. <laughs> <laughs> this next one I didn't order. Mark just happened to get it in today. I saw it and if you didn't know about this, I'm about to give you some FOMO. Ready? This is Action Comics 1050. It's a beautiful foil and look at that. I gotta you gotta actually see the oh like Sarah's like, why do you need that? I, I was like, anyone I don't get it. Who's a DC fan? I'm a DC will want, fan. Yeah, but this is an homage to Action Comics 1 in yeah. foil. Yeah. That is, if you're a Superman fan, you didn't know about this, you know right now you're like, oh, I need that in my life. Tell I'm me. Definitely not a Superman fan. Yeah, I know you're not a Superman <laughs> fan, but people who are, that is I'm telling you, mate, $1 million one day this will be. I also picked up the Something's Killing the Children. That is the foil. It's awesome. I love that. So I obviously picked up the cover A as well. This is Harley Quinn issue 25. I don't know if this is meant to be like the first appearance no, of the Harley who the laughs. Last issue? Actually, no, you're talking about this. Before, yeah, actually, I actually have the last issue too. It's actually. the last issue. It's not. The same. I did pick that because I picked up the '90s, the '90s variants of that. Anyway, that's a Harley who laughs cover. Kind of scary. Then we got the Joker, the Man Who Stopped Laughing issue four, just the cover A this time. Yeah, I'll get around to reading that in the next five years. Uh, it is Berserker Week, and you guys know, oh, it's Berserker Week, and I got the box. How, how fitting. You guys know I pick up doubles of every issue for some reason. That is, I don't know which one's the cover A and cover B, nor have I, I've just stopped caring. I'm just waiting a for this. What issue is this? Only one more Berserker um, week to go, and then I've got, what is it, 12 shoes times four. Uh, so I've got 48 copies of Berserker. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, move on to the next topic. That is the Berserkers there. And obviously every issue they do the foils. And You're probably the foil. only reason that like, that comic book is making money. All right, here's some more Nakayama goodness now. I want to do something in the chat. So Sarah, obviously not a Nakayama fan. I think this cover's great. Uh, it's I the... love, okay, I love that it's a newspaper cover. So I really like the like the top bit of so this one. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put this here. This is the David Nakayama cover for, what is it? Dark Web, Mary Jane and Black Cat. Now, J. Scott Campbell also did one for this. Uh, he might have done the cover A even. So I'm gonna put the J. Scott Campbell version up here and the other gap. Let me know if you guys prefer the Nakayama or if you prefer the J. Scott Campbell. Just There's no right answer. I just wanna know what you guys prefer out of the Nakayama cover and the J. Scott Campbell. I'm a little bit over Campbell. I know you said you prefer the J. Scott Campbell. Well, saying that, just to make everyone come for me, I also am not a huge fan of J. Scott Campbell, so... Just to make everyone what? Come for me, like, angry at me. You're an idiot. <laughs> just <laughs> make them angry at me. <laughs> so let us know, are you Team Nakayama or Team Campbell on that one? I think they stopped doing the concept covers, didn't they? Didn't I order the concept cover? I don't know. I only ordered up to issue five and then I stopped. So that's issue six. I, I know the most recent order I did, Amanda, there was no concept cover. I read issue one, I probably won't read the rest. Yeah, so you know what? I read issue one too. Yeah. And I was like, I don't need to read the rest of this. It's just it's just the show, you know, um, but not as good. This is Batman issue 131. I am yet to catch up on reading that, even though I keep saying Beautiful I will. Beautiful Jorge. Please let us know if we're saying his name wrong. Jimenez. Well, why don't we DM him in the... Uh, <laughs> In the, on the IGs. He's not doing the interiors he's anymore. He's not doing the interiors he? anymore. But he's doing all the covers? But he's doing the covers. Oh, that's pretty cool. This is obviously the Jenny Frizen. Give you a nice look at that. Of the Poison Ivy. I, I want also the issue one. That I want the 1 in 100 <clears throat> foil of that so bad. How pretty would that be with those colors? I guess it would look nice. Uh, this is Nightclub issue 1. $1.99 cover price for the US people. Uh, this is a new series from Mark Millar. You know what? I like how would you say that name? 
Miller. Yeah, I would say Miller too, but... So if, I heard a lot of people say Mark Miller, and I was like, well, it's Mark Miller, right? I get it, because Miller should be ER, but AR would still say Miller. But a lot of people call him Mark Miller. And look, that's on him in the back too. Mark Miller. <laughs> Fuck! Now I'm saying it! It's Mark Miller! <laughs> anyway, it could be Mark Miller. Uh, let us know in the comments if it's Miller or Miller. Bex issue two! I really enjoyed the first issue, but I might wait it out this one. Uh, there's only, I think, five issues. Why don't and you get the train? Well, I thought about that, <laughs> oh. I bought this one because I didn't want to miss out on this. This is issue three of Alien. It's and like, um... It's obviously an homage to the Sigourney Weaver and Newt cover. And yeah, it had the gun on there. I don't know if you guys saw my, uh, Nerf gun video. If you haven't, you should probably check it out because it's a pretty cool video and it's got that gun and I shoot things with it. I shot Sarah's bum today 10 times. <laughs> Rapid fire. Anyway, cool alien cover. And then the last book from the new release haul is Nice House on the Lake Issue 12, the final, final issue, issue, which means I can read them all. Look, to be honest, I was loving this series for the first couple of issues. It definitely dropped a little bit, but I still, it's one of those books where you just want to know how are they going to get out of this situation? How, yeah. How's it going to all end? So I'm excited to um, eventually get around to finishing Nice House on the Lake. Um, shout out to Old Wolf. Shout out to Old Wolf. That is the shout out for the week. I'm not prepared. So we're just going to shout out Old Wolf this week. I know that's not what oh, we usually yeah. do, but before this video comes out, I'm going to be doing a uh, so, uh, simple surface stream tonight so there'll be plenty of channels getting shouted out on that so if you're watching this and you didn't check out my stream from earlier because i'm going to post this video after the stream um okay. you can check out my simple <laughs> surface stream and uh, check out all the channels that i catch up on if you don't know what it is i'm basically doing perry and the lurkers catching up on youtube because i don't watch youtube as much anymore uh, it gives me a good chance to watch catch up on people's videos and you guys can discover new channels too Okay, last thing. After I read um, Zoe's Thorogood's uh, new series, book series, which I absolutely loved, uh, I ordered her first one. So I've got that to read. That I, I ordered it like the start of December or something like that. And that is a big ass book. Let's do a comparison. Yeah, I did not expect that. <laughs> big ass book. Um, that's exciting. I'm really looking forward to reading that. Also, didn't realize until maybe like two weeks ago that she actually did all the interior artwork for Haha ha Issue 2. There you go. Okay, so uh, my mail call is something a little bit different. It's not comic books, but we, I thought it was because I saw the packaging and I was like, what comics did I order? <laughs> and then I looked at the quantity and it said six. And I was like, oh, I know what this is. So... Little rock star man here. Yeah, yeah you, you know you've made it when there's people out there bootlegging your stuff, right? These are cassette tapes. They came all the way from Deutschland. So a guy hit me up because he found us on Bandcamp, essentially. And he was like, hey, man, would you be cool if we put your music on cassette tapes over for the punks in Europe? I've run out of tape records or something like that. Yep. That's... And they hit up bands, like punk bands from around the world, and they basically put their stuff onto uh, the... And what else he did was he didn't just... He asked me permission first. So he basically, he sent me these cassettes. He's only sent six, because obviously I'm guessing postage from Deutschland isn't cheap either. Oh damn, he's only giving me four though. He's only giving me four, but that's okay, because there's four members of the band, so that's the only people okay. who are getting them. So this is it. Okay. So he's basically got did our do our actual... old EP and our last EP. Did you do your main album? No, okay. which is good because the because the album's not on Bandcamp. The album is on okay. Spotify, however, if you want to listen to my old band. Um, <laughs> now on Spotify. Because our album was our best thing, I think. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so this is basically two EPs on the one cassette tape. It's my favorite cover. But that's your, pretty cool. Um, main album. Yeah, well, the cover is a homage to the Warriors. Okay. Nice. Um, so yeah, that's pretty poorly done, but uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, four though, so I'll probably just hand those out to the band members. I thought I was going to get two more because I've got a friend who really is into collecting cassettes. I was going to give him one, but he misses out. And then he's giving me, I guess, two other cassette tapes. No hopes. I thought, I thought, I thought for a second I said no hose. <laughs> oh. Love tapes. Hate, Hate racism. racism. Yeah, that's what we're all about here. And then I guess he's giving me another. Oh, the scam. We've played with the scam. Oh really? Nice. Yeah, so uh, this is a split between the scam and criminal asshole. It's a great name. Uh, so the scam are actually from Queensland. So we've played with them when they came <laughs> down here and we've played with them up there as well. So <laughs> I'm just gonna read this with a serious voice. <clears throat> Punk is passion, not business. Punk is DIY, not an empire. Punk is friendship. Not enemies. From the stories you've told me of people punching each other, I don't exactly believe that one. 
Punk is support, not competition. Punk is equality, not sexism. <laughs> Punk is a threat, not intimidation. Keep the scene clean. This is, that's, I agree with that, keep the scene clean, the other is a bit. <laughs> Simon has a whole cupboard absolutely filled with CDs that he spent a lot of money on that he just doesn't try and sell. I was trying to sell them, but after about a year after we broke up, people stopped caring and they forget. But yeah, there's someone out there on Discog selling uh, one of our CDs for like $200. And I was like, man, I've got a whole closet full of those things. I'll give it to you like 15 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> the punk type of punk music we were playing was not really about profit or anything like that. We never made a dime. Every, every dollar we made, which we did make money over time, but it was all to go back into the band towards which merch and recording and all that. Right now, I'm still paying off that final recording, which is why I should sell those CDs. <laughs> but um, anyway. That is everything. That was a pretty full haul. Hopefully we didn't take too long. I said I'd commission him to write a song for me. Pay you money. Okay, well I charge per word. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, that's probably long enough for this video. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, again, uh, I would have done a simple surface stream by the time this comes out. So if you guys want to check out some new channels, check out my simple surface stream. Check out my alien nerf gun video because that was pretty cool. I picked that up this week and um, yeah, so make sure you subscribe, yep. like, leave a comment, all that good stuff. And until next time, say bye, Sarah. Bye, Sarah. And keep it simple.